Hello again YouTube, small escort update video. I started to assess the rust damages in the car and yeah, it's rusted. Uh, driver side front is, this is probably the worst spot so far. There are minor smaller spots around the car but but yeah Dri driver side frame rail is pretty sharp and somewhere in the history of the car somebody has applied this undercoating I have put some some black rubberized undercoating on top of the existing and that peels off with just a little heat it's some kind of uh, I don't know how you call it in English but it's kind of tar tar like substance but that melts easily but this this is looking like like it's a ure urethane coating the same kind of you the urethane glue you use on the seams of the car but this is all over the all over the inner fender wells and i don't know yet where else I have had this car for over 20 years and I didn't know this. When I was younger and making those horrible patches there, I just cleaned it with a wire wheel and angle grinder and make a, made a patch and get it to MOT. But this, this is very interesting. None of the escorts I have worked on on my life didn't have this coating on them and this is on the on the all of the fender wells i don't know how far back this is and when this has been applied but it's very hard to remove i know that it doesn't doesn't come off with a with a um, sandblaster because I've I've sandblasted some frames with urethane glue on them, and uh, it takes a lot of time and sand to get the urethane off. So it looks like this is heat gun and a chisel kind of job for this one. Nice. So there's a pile of pile of that stuff that I took off. Yeah, it was just a quick update on this. The front panel, I'm going to remove it. It's almost detached itself from the car. And I have a new one, so don't have to put this rusted one on here. But yeah, looks like I'm in for a rust repairs for, for some time. And I need to cut away all the old welds that I have done because they look like crap and I want to redo them because after 20 years you somehow learn to weld properly when you weld for many years as a professional well semi-professional welder but yeah but i have welded a lot with tig mig and some stick welding at, at work when i was working at working at the metal industry but yeah now i have the fun part of cleaning up this and getting the torch out and cutting away everything that doesn't look good to me yeah, the 
fender. The fender attachment points are miraculously they're pretty sturdy, but around the struts, uh, everything is like like hard bread. Very crusty. Resembles more more like a chocolate chip cookie than sheet metal. Now it resembles like hard chocolate chip cookie. Well, yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles. I have some fun, fun cleaning and welding ahead of me. But yeah, that's there's like five mil of the stuff in the corners and <laughs> only a heat gun and a small chisel you can peel that away nice well i'm not in a hurry I'm gonna do this properly and well it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice car when it's done but yeah if you have any questions Put them down below or if you have any comments comments are always welcome and if you care care about this kind of content you can consider subscribing leaving a like if you like it or put a thumb down if you don't like it it's all up to you but anyways you people leave some comments if this is some kind of um stuff you want to see because if nobody is interested about an old escort getting back together um, then i'm not posting videos about it and if you like more aircon related videos then i'm gonna do more aircon related stuff on the channel but yeah leave comments what you like to see i have all kind of stuff that i do you all stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.